Awesome. Well, my middle name is Mugs. Right, so, so I have a new saying, Mugs at Smugs. So, <laughs> Mugs at Smugs. I just remember mostly being on the course with like my dad and my brother and my dad taught both of us how to play and you know him and my mom have been playing since the late 90s and that's when I was born so he taught me how to act you know to have a good attitude he taught me the mechanics he encouraged me he, you know gave me hugs when I cried because I played bad and I still look up to him. Uh, I was born in Abilene, Texas, a very small town in West Texas. We were super young, we moved to, Dat to Fort Worth, and I went to kindergarten, first, second, third, and a little bit of fourth grade there, and then we moved to Denver, Colorado, and, and then we moved to Aurora, Colorado, my freshman year of high school. So, and then I, Emporia was the next one for college. So my parents took me out to a course in Saginaw, um, and I just, I have one memory of this one tree, and that's all I remember of the course. I was pretty young, um, and my parents would tell me that I would just run to the playground if I ever saw it, but I grew up playing on Expo, um, and that is an 18-hole, super wide open, pretty short, pretty birdieable course. Uh, my dad has, I think my dad shot 17 down there, so you know, it's, it's pretty easy, but it was a good course to learn on. There was water. Um, you know, it's not my favorite course, especially now. Like, I like going back just to th bring putters and mid ranges um, to where I, I grew up in the disc golf family. The local, you know, disc golf club was awesome there. A lot of them still support me, and you know, when I won Worlds, a lot of them reached out to me, and they were like, "We knew it back then." Um, so that that park that I grew up playing on has a special place in my heart, and it always will. So a reason I decided to go on tour was I didn't want to be in school anymore. And it was a nice alternative um, because well, I wasn't just being a bum and doing nothing. I was out still doing a real job. Um, so it's just nice to have that as an excuse to get out of school just for a little bit. I've been in school, you know, forever and I just wanted a break. But um, probably the traveling would be the next one. Love traveling. Um, even if I don't play super well, you know, I still get to go to the next tournament. You know, I do make enough money and I do cash often enough to where that happens or you know our my, my sponsors support me enough so I just I, I just love love the traveling I love the the meeting new people and trying the new things and trying the new foods and all that all that that has to offer um, and then also because you know at the end of last season 2018 I was playing pretty well um, and then you know I won world so I just wanted to see what could happen if I did tour because um, you know Paige and Kat have had seasons where they've just killed it you know and I I dream of having a season like that I don't know if that'll be possible anymore because there's so many top competitors now but it's something I still want to strive for you know and I, I, I want to be in the mix and I want to prove that you know winning worlds wasn't like a fluke you know because I didn't win anything you know leading up to it so just proving myself and stuff I mean, just the tour is awesome I you know I've toured a little bit here and there and I knew the experiences and stuff so to be able to do it all the time and have it as my job and actually make money doing it like I couldn't pass it up. The moment that I realized that I really was a top competitor, I guess, and a top player was probably the Delaware Disc Golf Challenge, which was the week after Worlds, which I know sounds weird, but I mean, leading up to Worlds last year, I mean, 2018, I wasn't winning anything. Like, I kept getting second places at a lot of a lot of tournaments, and <clears throat> don't get me wrong, like, second place is awesome, and I was beating some people I looked up to and stuff, but, you know, I was always grateful of that I was in second place. Like it could have gone either way. I'm lucky that I'm here. I'm lucky that I'm here. But after round one of Delaware, I played super well and people were picking me, choosing me to win, like rooting for me. And I don't know, just knowing that like, you know, I played that round. I didn't play great, but I played solid. And to know like I made the mistakes that I made and still was like winning or only one stroke back was definitely like, I guess motiv motivation or it made me realize like I can 
consistently be on top and I can win tournaments. I just have to believe in myself, I guess, so. My tip is um, to learn from every shot that you, you take, basically. So if you're playing a tournament and let's say you, make a, you miss a putt low, you know, oh, my follow through wasn't that high. Next, next hole, focus on that follow through. Instead of getting upset about each shot, just learn from it so you don't make that same mistake again. It really makes me sad almost to like not play to my potential or to choke in a certain situation um, and to like almost see my practice not pay off is probably like one of the hardest things for me and myself and my self-esteem and my confidence. Um, even though it does happen, it's still so disheartening. Obviously the, the highs, you know, playing well, they're awesome on tour, but the lows can be really hard to push through. Leaving school to go on tour was a hard decision, but also not hard at the same time. At that point, I was studying education and I kind of lost my passion for it, which is kind of sad. I've wanted to be a teacher ever since I was a little kid. You know, I would teach in front of my stuffed animals. I was one of those, you know, little girls that had the little chalkboard in her room, you know, and I've always wanted to be a teacher. And as, you know, once I got into college, I was, I was like more in the classroom and I saw kind of like the politics kind of behind it and all the drama in the schools and the strict policies. And I don't know, I just, the more I studied it, the less I felt like I wanted to be a teacher, so. It was hard to leave because, you know, my friends were there in Emporia. Um, I liked kind of the routine. I liked that I had, a, a, you know, I worked at the Dynamic Disc Retail Store and I loved it. I got to work with my mom. Um, so, I mean, leaving school is also hard because of that. But I, I don't regret my decision. I don't know if I'll go back or not. Eventually, we'll see. But um, in the end, I think it was the right decision. I wouldn't have won Worlds if I didn't make that decision. So, I'm confident in it. <laughs> Jam. 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 So I guess I have a lot of favorite things about tour. Um, number one is I get to spend every, almost every second with my fiance Grady. Um, he's my favorite person ever and if we were living normal lives, you know, we'd have school and work and we wouldn't get to see each other as much. So that's definitely my favorite part. But um, also the, you know, seeing play new places or even going back to, you know, our favorite places. Um, I, I love that so much. I love going from coast to coast and exploring, you know, different parts of the country. and. Also, I get another favorite part, I guess, would be is seeing my growth as a player. by the end of the you know year around the world championships came I won worlds so it's so cool to see my growth I guess physically and mentally um, and just to see like what I'm capable of you know I was in school for so long and I've been a disc golfer for 12 years so you know I always told myself like you're good but you've never been able to practice so I wonder what your potential can be he's in first I, I today I was like I was like dang I hate being in second place Calvin's like <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> I usually feel pretty good about me to say. <laughs> yeah, second's normally sweet. Oh. Uh, like, you live at the bar. I guess the summer, I, I was planning on having a summer tour after, you know, my junior year of high school, or sorry, of college, and then go into my senior year, but um, I decided to tour instead. So I had a car already, my little red Focus. I named him Ferris. Ferris the Focus. And then once I won Worlds. I thought the van was a possibility, um, but I wasn't too sure. I mean, it was kind of scary. I was kind of scared to think about driving a big van because I was used to my little, you know, focus. We have a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> a couple extra boxes that we have. We don't really have room for, so they're on the bed right now. We measured it out to have the perfect height. 
But after, you know, thinking of some ideas to maybe run tournaments out of it, I thought, we, I bet if I, like, make it valuable, I guess, for DD to help me with the van, then they would probably go for it. So I thought a lot about it, and um, eventually I thought that would be the right thing to do. Zach Milton, I know who that is. Oh, <laughs> you can have that if you want. What? Right here. Uh, I'm going to get a Sharpie real quick. I got a Sharpie. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's see. Do you have one? Yeah, I saw you guys out here, so I thought I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> I talked to one of your guys here. Oh, yep. Yep. Had, had blue treat yesterday. You know, not good. It's a tough course. Uh, it is, but it isn't. Like I, it, the shots, I feel like are easy to execute, but if you mess up, yeah, like it can add up quick. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, exactly. it's like I'm 50/50 on the course. Yeah. We had Matt, who is the hot stamp guy at DD and Brian Shintaku is one of the team managers for a Latitude Westside and Dynamic. And someone Resco went to high school with, this guy named Trent, um, they all worked on the inside. And um, we met, we had a few meetings together and we kind of talked about what I wanted and kind of what I wanted it to look like. And we went shopping together for all the parts. And I mean, I, I really didn't do much, but I was there to kind of help out if they needed me. I did the bed, they did everything it took. like. A few Two, two months maybe. So yeah, I was pretty excited. Another part of touring that really sucks <laughs> that I don't like and I really struggle with is that we basically have no days off. Um, me as like just strictly a competitor, you know, if I want to win tournaments, I have to put in the practice. If I'm not putting in the practice, somebody else will put in the practice. So, you know, we have those days where we just drive, but I wouldn't even call that a day off because you don't really get to relax. Um, so we have to drive and then that, you know, that next day I want to practice because I want to win that tournament. So it's like drive, practice, practice, tournament, drive, practice, practice, tournament. And, you know, I'm just like strictly a competitor. So there's people, you know, Tina who, have, you know, she does play, but she also has editing and filming, you know, and whale sacks and she's got a ton of stuff to do. Um, you know, we don't really get a break from that. We have, we have to live on the road. We have to, you know, pay for ourselves, you know, financially it's a struggle as well. And so we have to stay on top of it. So it's almost like we never get to relax. We never get to take a deep breath and like soak it all in almost. It's just like, what's next? What can I be doing next to make money? What can I be doing next to play better? What can I be doing next? To like grow the dynamic discs, you know, the company is sponsored by. So that's definitely a struggle because for me, I like to self reflect, I guess, and have a lot of me time and literally just sit on the couch and watch TV is probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I don't get to do that on the road very often. So it's pretty hard for me. And also, I don't like the driving. <laughs> the driving between tournaments is not very fun. I mean, we listen to music and I sing a bunch, but uh, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's, that's a you know, sitting in the car and then especially those those days when you try to get a practice run the same day as you're driving, it's really hard to get out of the car and stretch and then try to play around. Touring is really hard for us right now just because we're not playing well, whatever. I was like, you know what, like we need to be practicing more. So every day this week we did field work, we putted and played a practice run. We didn't have any fun. We went to the gym too. Yeah, I mean, we had fun <laughs> together, but like we worked so hard and I shot 9.15, 9.15. Since winning Worlds, a lot of things have changed. I um, have a big band now, and what that kind of translates into is more money, right? So because of these, you know, I have the opportunity to run these tournaments, and because I won Worlds, my name, I guess, draws people in, which means more money for me, and not that I'm in it for the money or anything, but we need, I need that money to keep staying on the road. I have signature discs, which is crazy um, to see my name on discs. Grown up playing the sport, so you know, I've seen can climb those names on, you know, name on, on discs and, you know, Paige Pierce, um, you know, Bal got her name on discs. So it's just cool to, I guess, to like see that as a little girl and be like, man, I really want that and to finally have it. That's been crazy and I Winning Worlds has helped me experience, I guess, winning and losing and learning how to take both of those and how to learn from each. Even when I win, I still have something to learn from it, um, and especially when I lose, I have a lot to learn. So that's been helpful to help me grow as a player. You know, I've dreamed of it since I was a little girl and so my dreams have changed obviously now and I have to set new goals. Um, I feel like I have a, a better glow about me and I'm more confident in myself, which I've always struggled with, you know, on and off the course, and so that's that's definitely definitely helped me a lot too. And uh, it's been big for our family as well.
I like the spotlight, at least when it comes to disc golf. Uh, I'm pretty shy, you know, off the course or whatever, but um, like I hate when I don't get recognized. Uh, I think just wanting my name to be out there and wanting to prove that I am as good as these other girls, um, that's what really motivates me and that's where the competitive nature comes from because I just want, I want my name to be in the mix and I want it to stay up there and that's really what drives me to play well.